in this video i want to show you how to trade price action guys if there's something that you need to learn you need to have the skill is to understand what the market is telling you for instance if you open your chart this is your chart today i'll be analyzing chfjpy and there's a huge opportunity on this pair so the minute you open your chart what is the chart how is the market uh, communicating what is it saying and that's what we call price action because every single candle be it a daily candle be it a four hour candle it has a message and for a long time i would assume four hour candles the way they print and or they form and yet they have a message they are leaving behind and that's what we call price action so guys let's try to look into chfjpy try to analyze this market together and then after you finish watching this video go open your chart search for chfjpy try to see the same thing try to see what the market will do and uh yeah and come back to this video and tell me what you got so this is it price action has three things i can say the first thing you need to understand is it making a pattern is there a pattern that you are being shown by the market or you know when you see a pattern happens it means you missed the point if i come here and i see let me for example if i come here and i see a double top if i see here a double top just know that market this double top i never enjoyed it because i can see it when you see a pattern in a chart most probably you have missed the, the the chance to trade it or it is too late so the minute you want to be a pattern price action trader let me call it that way you need to be anticipating you need to anticipate for those patterns to happen it's better you anticipate then they fail or they get invalidated or they don't move or something just happened rather than seeing them and trying to jump in on a ready trade the person who saw this uh, market draw and then the market was already here they were like oh this is a double double top let me sell and then they sold here what happened they came sold here what happened the market moved up for almost a week and they gave up but the market came down so the the minute the minute you see a pattern in in a, any chart just know you're either too late or it's a continuation of a pattern so the one thing is be good with your patterns what is the market telling you which pattern is is it trying to make and this is on a higher time frame daily or four hour chart the other thing that you need to understand is the zone what is outstanding why is the market getting rejected so you need to identify your zone you need to identify your pattern and the last thing because that's what i like doing is use moving average and in this case we'll use 200 moving average guys so with those th this with the three things that i have told you you'll be able to start analyzing your market start with the first one which pattern do you think that the market is trying to present so for me i think we have a head and shoulder but the head is not completed so that what do i mean by the head this is by this is where the market came remember guys you need to see what happened this was a very big move and all of a sudden we came we had a stop so meaning that that place is a very key zone because why did the market stop and all the it started going down so that means we have a zone here so i'll just identify this zone so I identify that zone even if i don't know which pattern the market will let me know then why where did the market drop after we hit this key zone where did the market drop i'll come here and identify this key zone so i have two zones at the moment and that's what i've said if you have not identified your zones in the chart on on the chart what are you doing what do you think uh, uh do you think it will just be magical identify those zones if you're watching this video go to chfjpy try to identify the zones mark them and either use daily or four hour but we are on daily chart so i have marked my zone and i will mark my highest zone because yes the market dropped but it came broke that zone that we think it is a zone but created a small zone so here we have a small zone the market is not 
uh, it stopped and it started coming down. It it went to that zone. The zone we can call it is as it's the resistance, and then it dropped down. So for me, what I can see here, I can see this might be. I'm saying it might be our shoulder, and this is how you identify a pattern. This map must be a shoulder. This, of course, the head must be higher than the shoulder. So this must be my head. So my head is the one that is not yet completed because if you if you understood if you understand how the head and shoulder pattern works, the sh the the head must go back to the to where uh, okay where the market dropped. I went I, I went first to the head before I complete. After the shoulder, the market dropped. Of course, it dropped and created a neckline. So I'll come here and put neckline. So where the market drops is the neckline, guys. So, and those neckline, how would you understand a pattern if you don't understand a zone? And that's why I've said, I will always start with the zone. Remember, if you have a zone, if we had a zone, for instance, let me just show you. Let me just do a playback. If this is what we had, if that's what we had, I would not have said I have a head here. You see? So I would be, and I would not say I have a shoulder. It will be just a zone and I will be anticipating for a pattern. But in this case, I'll be saying maybe we'll have a double top. So this, I will, I will have something like this. This is my first top. So I will write here, first top, waiting for the next top, waiting for second top. I'm anticipating. That's what I want to show you guys. You have to anticipate for you to see the structure. You have to anticipate for you to see the pattern. So. If I have found the market in this level, I would identify the first zone where the market resisted and then the second zone. And I'll call that zone either neckline support, whichever you, the way you want to call it. And then I'll name this my first top because I'm anticipating second top. And there's a rule for a double top. The double top rule is the market should not break this zone. And if it breaks, it can no longer be a double top. So if it breaks, my zone i know i don't have a double top if it doesn't i'll be looking for entries on lower time frame i'll just go to four hours look for an entry so what happens let us play uh play and see what really happened so let's play and see what happened so we want to observe the market as it approach the zone you can see immediately the market the market has not even touched our zone because our zone our zone yes it has touched our zone but it is not uh it has reacted so many people and i know this is what happens many people will go to lower time frame or if they find the market has behaved like this they will go on lower time frame if we even we can see it is people are selling people are thinking oh it's a zone we are selling but there's something that people don't understand on a zone you cannot just sell you want a momentum candle you want sell momentum candle bearish momentum candle to show you that sellers have really rejected and as you can see the sellers tried to, to to push that market but immediately the buyers took over so leaving this big week the big week is showing us that at this level we cannot decide who is winning and that's what i'm saying the four hour time frame it shows us the entry if you have entry you go to four hour so let's play and see. So for us, we could not have entered because we don't have like this candle. This was a momentum candle. You can see on my left, this is a momentum bearish candle. So that's what we are waiting on this uh, on this zone. We want a momentum bearish candle. And immediately the following day, because this is daily, if you find your candle like this, don't even go to 4 hour. Just close that CHL JQ or mark it or write it on the book and say or a reminder and say tomorrow, at 1 a.m., whichever time that your candle closes daily, I'll come and check how the candle closes. If you find the candle still, it has a very big week, means the buyers are still interfering on that zone. Close that trade and say, I'll come to check CHL JPY after a day. And then you find the market has broken. So all along, whatever we had thought that our market would make, it has been invalidated. And that's how now you start identifying your patterns so let's continue and see what happens so the market eventually went down went up it continued to went to go up and it came retested 
and i don't know if it will continue going up but this is a show of retest so many people would have think would have thought oh this is a this is um bearish engulfing in the yenta cell which is which they can they can do if you go to lower time frame and try to see what really happens so at this moment let's see what happened after that so the market immediately it engulfed so many people thought this is a bearish engulfing. If you didn't have a zone, let's assume you didn't have this zone. You would have thought this is bearish engulfing. I'm on daily. It has engulfed. I want to go look for sell. You just sell blindly because you don't know that even that bearish engulfing, it is at your zone and it is just retesting. So that's what I say. If you don't have a zone, it will be very, very hard for you even to trade. Because for me, if I had that zone, I would know automatically that is a retest. Yes, it's a bearish engulfing. People would have thought it's a sell, but I know it's a retest. So let's play and see what happens. So the market now starts coming down. So immediately, that big momentum candle now we have that zone we have that zone you see guys what i'm saying we have that zone and this is why i'm saying this can be our shoulder so this is our shoulder now we want to anticipate for another for another market so this is our shoulder so where is this market going if it breaks this zone the market we anticipate it to come here so if it breaks this zone and this zone we anticipate our market to come to this place so this being our head, so this now becomes our head. So if it becomes our head, we want our market to complete first our head before it comes to the next shoulder. So what do we say? We think the market will approach the market down, come to the neckline, get rejected, continue making our second shoulder, and then now drops. That's now what we want. Actually, we want something like that. And then now the, when the market is there, it can either do two, two, two things. It can break that zone, continue going up, or it, it just flip back to the head. So at that moment, you don't know what happens. So if I play back this, uh, this uh, chart or this price at the moment, we know the price dropped. But we need a lot of patience. We don't know if you entered early, what, what, what. I want to play it until where it is. So let us play to until where the market is. So those people who enter that market, see, we needed a very, a very big momentum to break that zone. So the people who were waiting for just a small break for them to enter, the market came exactly exactly to our line the line i was telling you you see where the sellers had reached the market if you had created a zone here and said this is my zone so if i sell from head this is where my take profit is so that is something else so let me see if it's that is the end of our our market it went retested and now it is started to come down again so I want it to play until where the market is currently. So, and you can see the market has stayed for that zone for a very long time. So immediately the market came again, tested the zone, and now we are at that place. So I want to delete this. So for me, I'm anticipating the market will come. This is a very, very good head and shoulder. So this is a shoulder, neckline, head, and then it comes back to the neckline. And then what happens? The market comes up again. So the market will come to the shoulder. And then after the shoulder, it drops. So before it does all that, let's first complete what we have. How do we know now this market is ready to come out? It to come uh, to drop. First of all, if you had a zone here, if you had this line, if the candle breaks this and closes like this on a daily, at this moment, the candle has not yet closed because we cannot see the second candle here. If the candle closes like this, this market will drop. It will go down. And now with the help of 200 EMA, that's what we know. The market is trying to approach the 200 EMA. If we put 20, the market already broke 20. If we put 50, the market is the time that it wants to break and close 50. So just make leave your 50 EMA there. And, and you'll see that uh, if the market has, has closed below the 50. 
so guys if on this chart what i wanted on this uh, on this video i wanted to show you how to spot patterns zones and everything and anticipate for an opportunity so if this market drops from where it is it drops to our zone it's 139 pips 100 and you're trading daily you just put the trade and you forget about it you'll be just checking after every day after every day so that's what i'm saying so it's 139 pips after now it gets to the zone we now monitor the price after we monitor the price the price might shoot up to to make the second shoulder so until it comes here which is our key zone this is where we are anticipating for our market to come until it come to this place until it come to that place we cannot anticipate for the market to do a second uh, to do go and do the second shoulder so if you are if you're interested go to chfjpy put your zones anticipate the market and start seeing results because if there is no shortcut analysis it is a lot of patient you have to be patient you have to open your eyes you are supposed to be ready to learn and to incorporate everything you're learning for you to see results there's so much so much you need to understand before you can put a trade and go your direction 100 pips plus so guys this is a pair that you can check tomorrow or today if you're watching the video today because the the already there will be the chance to trade if the candle closes like this just know we have a sale so guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye